recently a tape was found with Mike Bloomberg talking about throwing minorities against the wall with uh, stop and frisk and how it was the right thing to do, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, you know, it, a lot of folks kind of gave him a break. That was a one-off. You know, maybe he didn't really get it. He really didn't see what it looked like, how racist it really was, the expressions that he gave. Well, you know what shows up? Another tape. You know when you're running, these tapes have a way of coming out. Check this one out. You've made some reference to the elements that led to where we are today. Could, could you go a little bit deeper and tell us from your perspective, how did we get here? What are the root causes of the well, crisis? That you we're you can go back. I, I would say it probably all started back uh, when there was a lot of pressure on banks to make loans to everyone. Um, redlining, if you remember, was the term where banks took hold neighborhoods and said, uh, people in these neighborhoods are poor, they're not going to be able to pay off their mortgages, tell them your salesmen don't go into those areas. And then Congress got involved, as local elected officials as well, and said, oh, that's not fair, these people should be able to get credit. And once you started pushing in that direction, banks started making more and more loans where the credit of the person buying the house wasn't as good as you would like. My God, that is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Does he not know the definition of redlining and what redlining meant to a particular group in this country? But worse, he continues a fallacy. He continues that fallacy that the 2008 collapse had something or really had something to do with these banks being forced to give loans to poor people. Oh my God, it's the poor people's fault that the government forced us to give them those loans and in doing so, uh, the economy collapsed. That is hogwash. Remember credit default swaps. Remember these guys were printed, they were creating financial instruments that, were, that someone called a house of cards. One, one derivative based on another derivative in a cyclical manner that caused the complete lockup in the credit markets. And they're going to, and Bloomberg himself now is going to want to blame poor people for, this, uh, for the crash of 2008 and also uh, claim that redlining was a way to prevent the collapse. If you keep all them poor people in the red areas and you don't sell anything there, it's all okay. Is this who we want for president?